Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. And if that is your thing, as a tall girl, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. So in today's video, I wanted to bring you guys into my closet. I'm in the middle of just shifting some stuff around in my closet. You guys saw the last video with my glasses and how I organize certain things. But I wanted to show you real time on how I actually organize it. Sometimes I'll do a video and explain certain things and show you guys pictures, but I feel like it will be better to show you what I do in this closet. If you don't know, this is a bedroom turned closet. It is a spare bedroom. I figured I do not have a ton of people that sleep over, so why not get rid of the bedroom? <laughs> so if you have the space to do it, I would 150% recommend it. If someone tells you that it is selfish, it is not girls, it's not, it's your space. Sometimes the closets that come in townhomes, single family homes, even an apartment, they're really small. As a New Yorker, and for all of my New York followers, you already know how small the closets are in New York. My last place in New York, I got extremely lucky and had two separate closets in my bedroom and they were rather deep. It's not something that we get in New York. So moving to Atlanta, I quickly realized that some of the closet space is a lot larger. However, moving into the home, it really wasn't that large given the fact that I do have a ton of stuff. This is a bedroom and I have the Ikea pack system and I also have the Billy bookshelf. So I'm probably gonna bring you guys closer to each section and show you guys what I do and why I do it. And hopefully it'll help you if you're trying to turn a small place into a closet or even a bedroom into a closet or possibly taking your existing closet and making it a little bit more zhuzhed up and more boutique style, if that makes sense. So let's get into it. First, I'm gonna break down what I have. I have the Ikea Packs system. This is not the tallest Ikea Packs um, wardrobe. I am going to probably swap this out and get the tallest one and shift this in another room and probably just put all of my coats in there. This is the 79 inch one. As you guys can see the top here, I'm looking over. I am six feet tall, so this is where it sits for me. If I would have gotten the taller one, it would have gone all the way up to my ceiling, okay? And this first shelf would be at the top, if that makes sense. Probably a little bit higher, to be quite honest. You would think that it's not a lot of space that you're getting with that taller one, but you really are. And you're able to put more things and more drawers and two separate rolls of clothes without anything dragging. Keep that in mind when you're buying it. If you are gonna get the Ikea pack system and you have at minimum, I wanna say eight feet, eight foot ceilings, maybe eight foot, maybe slightly more. Then you're able to get the 90, I think it's 96 inches high. I believe that's the numbers. <laughs> but all I know is that it, it will fit, but you will have this much this much space left <laughs> which is not bad so the person who actually does put your ikea pack system together they are going to have to do it standing up okay yes unless they do it in a hole and kind of drag it in and tilt it up but it is easier to just do it standing up depending on your ceiling and depending on your contractor whoever's going to do it they're going to know exactly what to do all i know is that you're going to have slight a slight slither of space left and i'll show you when we get over to the billy bookshelves they are pretty much the same height as the ikea packs i added an extension piece at the top and you'll see the small space that i'm talking about that i have it's essentially the same exact height as the ikea packs tallest version if that makes sense this is the 79 inch high high one 22 inch deep and the 39 inch wide I am able to put a shelf here and I still have a ton of room at the top. I'm going to just bring the camera up so you guys can see that little piece up there. All of that space up there I have. I typically don't like to put a bunch of stuff up there because I don't want it to look messy. But I do have a tote bag, some glasses cases, which I'm probably going to move. My box for my bag and two sweaters that I just got. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put them. If I want to put them in the drawers, and I'll show you that in a minute. So 
the rods are like five dollars they might have gone up but not much the shelves is what is really going to cost you if you're trying to get something that is um glass the regular shelf is much cheaper okay but if you want to add a little bit of luxury to it definitely get the one that has the glass you could also put lights and stuff at the top to bring the light down which i'm probably i know i'm going to do it i just haven't gotten around to do it guys this room is not i get sun in here um some days it's really good and some days it's just like terrible and i know for sure i'm covering half of this window on my left so it's taken away from some of that and that is actually the larger window in this room which is kind of odd. They put the smaller one here, they put the larger one here, but this is like in an enclave a little bit. Uh, and the smallest one is more on the outside. Don't know why they did it. But think of the lighting when you're doing it. So when it comes to keeping things organized here, I like to put my sweaters at the top. Sweaters at the top because you want to fold your sweaters. If you hang up a sweater, which I have probably... I don't even have sweaters hanging. Oh yes I do. And I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> this sweater is hanging. It's just like, the way I have it hooked up, let me show you guys. I have it hooked here, but it doesn't really cause any issues with the sweater because it is a very nice knit, but it's kind of like, I don't know what it's made with, but it's like slinky a little bit, but it's still very thick. So I'm okay with leaving this hung up and I have like a shawl here but the, the hangers that I that do have on the shawl one is very thick so keep that in mind but get you some shelves even if it's the plain one you can put your sweaters on it you can put jeans on it whatever you want to do to keep yourself organized and like I said the goal is to have a space that you want to come into and want to get dressed in and just I don't know play dress up in for the girls who know you know as a child, I played dress up in my mom's stuff and my aunt's stuff, having a blast. And they always had spaces designated for their shoes, their bags, their jewelry, and their perfume, accessories, anything you can think of, they had a space for it. Even though you may have a smaller space, you can still achieve something like this. So if you do have a regular closet, I have seen people literally take the Ikea packs, the more shallow version, and put it within their closet. It just gives you more space to utilize every nook and cranny of your closet. Get you some shelves, display your hats, um, display some of the stuff that you really would like to see in your closet. Now at the bottom, I'm just gonna go down just a smidge. Down here, is where I just have space. I wanted to hang my longer stuff here, so I ended up just putting like some boots and stuff there. I do have a gray um, felt thing from Ikea. I have that piece there just so I won't dirty the pullout drawer because that is a pullout drawer. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's a pullout, so if I wanted to put more shoes on there, I could. I may actually go ahead and I don't know because I have two long maybe a few long pieces here on the left I won't be able to put shelves but I could if I wanted to so that's another thing you can do if you have extra space at the bottom so when I mean by utilizing the space I mean top and bottom okay so I do have a drawer down there that you guys seen but if I had the taller version I would be able to get two I can get two layers of clothes in here if I didn't have the shelf my rod would be higher up my clothes would be higher up and the second set of clothes would be there but it'll just be plain and kind of boring to me so just to add a little bit of dimension in here I opted to have my shelves here a row here some drawers here and that's it so that's one Ikea packs wardrobe piece that I have and then I'll show you guys the middle piece which is my favorite so here's the second piece that I have in my closet just to keep everything kind of like clear, I have three 39 inch Ikea Pax wardrobes that are 22 inch deep, and then I have a 19 inch one. The way this room is set up, I can actually get one more 19 inch in here. If I were to take out the Billy bookshelves, 
if I were to take them out and kind of like get the other piece for the Ikea packs, which I may still do because it'll make it a little bit seamless and every single piece will be, every single corner in this room will, will be used. So the corner piece that they have, it still does have shells on it. They're just not as deep as this, if that makes sense. In the middle area, I wanted to, dis to display some of the pieces that I love. Now, spring is here and my sweaters and stuff need to move. <laughs> I just haven't gotten there yet. And I'm gonna do some spring cleaning soon. So, I still like the way it looks here. I have a couple of pair of shoes, nothing crazy. Um, things that kind of go with my aesthetic in the, in the room. Um, I, if you notice, I have a ton of cream stuff. I love cream. I also have my perfume here. I don't have my perfume sitting up on anything, which I actually need. So if you guys know anything, and I'm sure it's probably on Amazon, comment below and let me know. So right now it's just sitting here. But this area is just still like a work, work in progress. I just have a box full of like glasses cases. I have like a little flower thing, some perfume, some lotion. Um, nothing too crazy here, but I love this area because I'm able to display the things that I wanna see. Displaying your accessories, guys, is the best way for you to utilize and wear everything in your closet. Sometimes you'll have things hidden in the closet and you forget about it. I have a ton of hats in there, like fedora hats, and I sometimes forget. I have a couple of them out and I have a couple of them displayed up here, but I have more in the closet. So they're considered, I don't know, I want to say winter hats because they are wool, um, but I do see some girls still wearing their hats and they don't care, so. But I like to display this stuff here. I have a bag here some shoes, my lovely gloves that I love from Kos. I've shown you guys these before. One of my best purchases and um, my newly purchased hat. And I did get my hats back. I don't I don't know if I've shown you guys, but I did get my other Rooster Boginski hats back. I was waiting on this one. I was also waiting on this one to come back so I did get these in an extra large okay so if you haven't seen that video <laughs> take a look at that video this is my centerpiece three different shelves here an open space and then I have my my jewelry here in the first pullout and the video that I've shown you guys recently I do have my glasses here and then I have a couple of, a few drawers at the bottom down here. Let me show you guys that. So I have this clear one, which in there I just have like some sweaters. Um, nothing crazy to display. The other two, I have like shoes at the bottom. Actually, I think I have sneakers down there. And then the second one, I have more sweaters. They're really bulky, so I kind of just wanted to put them there. But these drawers are awesome. If you don't have this set, the system guys, you are missing out on this part. I think I said this in another video, that the IKEA packs is not, it's not that it's expensive because the shell of it is not expensive. What's expensive is the inserts. That's where it starts to add up. But I, it's still like 80% cheaper than getting something custom made is going to cost you a ton of money. So like I said, I'm probably going to end up getting that corner piece and make it a little bit more seamless. If I don't swap the closet out for the taller ones, um, I want to do it. I do. But if I don't, I'm going to go ahead and get the corner piece and then get the maybe the shallower pieces over there and kind of keep it the same and then alternate with these because I know I can get in I'll show you I'm pointing but you can't see but I'll show you um, and alternate it so that everything is one height and it looks very seamless in here I could actually do the other side if I wanted to um, or maybe I'll move this it's something that I want to do in here to get all of the space that I can use in here because trust and believe me when you think that you have the space for something and you start to pull stuff in, you don't. My door is on the other side, so I do have room to probably put like more of the shallow where um, Ikea packs over there, but <sighs> as of now, it's gonna be like this, but it, it is bothering me that it's kind of like overlapping over there and I have a corner 
that I could actually use with the whole 19 inch Ikea wardrobe piece but that is the centerpiece so if you want to display your stuff do stuff like this bags being displayed it's okay but I tried like now I have a bunch of Ruth and Baginski bags but I know that I'm probably going to ship them from over there and get these sweaters out from up here because I do like when it looks clean at the top it just gives it a better feel in here so that is this piece another 39 inch teeth I'm gonna go ahead and show you the 19 inch one which is still a nice size so here's my 19 inch set okay it is smaller okay however you still have a shelf you still have a place to display some of your things um, I still have jackets at the bottom here I don't even know if you guys can see that let me pull this over so you guys can see I'm just gonna bring the camera down right there I did fold some jeans here I do have another glass shelf and I have another pull-out drawer that has like some boots in here <laughs> but ultimately this is still a decent size uh, system they do have glass that fit exactly the same as they would on a 39 inch one um, it just adds a little bit of pizzazz and a little bit of luxury to it in my opinion um, but I absolutely love it so if you thought about getting anything and you can't fit the 39 inch one you can go for the 19 inch ones and they also have a 29 inch version absolutely love them measure your space that is the biggest key had I gotten the more shallow version my clothes would be hanging let me show you let me pull out something that's easy to put back in so, my clothes would be hanging either this way front or if it was to be inside it would be hanging out and it would not be sitting in the wardrobe system it, I hope that makes sense um it wouldn't sit flush it'll be this will be cut off and then you'll see it's almost like a regular closet if that makes sense this is just gives it a little bit of neatness um, with your closet but I also purchased this little guy right here from Amazon I a valet rod they have one for Ikea but it sits at the end of your system and I don't really like how it pokes out so this one just kind of just screw it on in and you're good it's pretty good now the last piece is gonna be another 39 inch um, Ikea packs wardrobe system I have my blazers and at the bottom I do have a pullout here that has my pants on it not my jeans just like trousers and stuff um, and then I have an actual another slide at the bottom let me show you guys that I got another slide here well pull out drawer with some just some flats a bunch of my Zara slides is on there <laughs> Um, in those funny looking kitten heels that I bought guys I'm, I'm on the fence I may still keep them um, but I do have like another felt down here and then just slide that back in this is just a really good way to kind of keep your closet organized by getting something like this now if you don't want to spend this money um, I have seen people use a ton of other IKEA systems that they have and it looks just as nice okay so it really just depends on you and your space these are very deep and they're very big the shell is not expensive it's the pieces that come with it so over here I do have some more hats I have a, I'm displaying another pair of shoes I have my blazers and these are all of my blazers I keep my leather stuff here I could put them away this room gets a little warm but I haven't had any issues with any of my leather um but display your stuff this is just another good way to display your clothes for me i love displaying my clothes coming into this room and i think what will make me really happy honestly is if the other side was done as well because i have a rolling rack over there and it's just kind of like it's cool <laughs> But it's not giving me what I need. So I'll probably go ahead and have my guy come in and do what I need him to do in this room. Because your girl don't plan on moving now. Because let me tell you, 
the prices of homes are high. <laughs> so I might as well just enjoy what I have until I'm ready to actually move to my dream home, okay? So this is the third piece. And like I was saying, over here, I don't know if you can see this overlapping. It probably doesn't look like it on camera, but there is a space here, like a large space. And this this whole corner that I'm not utilizing. That's because the Billy bookshelf is going, it's kind of going in. The door opens, but you know, not all the way, of course. Well, there's something down here, like a um, step stool. Um, but if I go ahead and get the rest of the Billy bookshelves out of here and get the rest of the Ikea packs, the corner piece, it's gonna look seamless on this side. I hope that makes sense to you guys. I'm probably still gonna do it. I'm just trying to be strategic on what I wanna do. If I shift these to that side or shift them back into my other closet, it sounds like a waste of money, but that's why I'm trying to do this the right way and not just go ahead and get it. I'm still gonna use my same shelves and rods and stuff like that. None of that is gonna be changed because I'm still gonna get the deepest one. I just wanna add on and kind of make it seamless around. Because I have a door there, I'm probably still gonna get the more shallow pieces here. And, cause you can connect it if you look online, you could actually still have the 39 inch one. That corner piece, you can still get the 39 inch one and then you can kind of bring over the more shallow versions for like your shoes and stuff. So it really just depends on what you are trying to do. This area, I can also not have all 39s and a 19. I can get 29s and mix it up a little bit more. So it really, really just depends. But again, I'm still trying to figure out if I'm gonna go ahead and do that other piece and then get rid of this. So let's get into the shoe storage. All right, so you guys already know I got this case from Ikea as well. These are bookshelves and I just added the doors on them and I added additional shelves. I'll show you guys the top piece, which you can kind of see a little bit. This little extension piece at the top, um, they're good because what I did was I needed more space so I just added that in and brought it all the way to the top. Let me show you guys the space I was talking about. If you were to get the IKEA uh, packs, the highest, the highest version, that's how much space you're gonna have left. So think about that if you're gonna decide on getting the highest version, you're gonna have a tiny space left to actually pretty much do nothing up there. But I got this, and this is so I can display my shoes and stuff. It does have doors. I got the doors because it gets dusty, but not nearly as much as it would if I didn't have doors. So that will be something that I have to think about when I'm getting, if I do decide to replace this with the Ikea packs. Um, the difference between the Ikea packs and the Billy Bookshelf is that um, I'm almost 100% sure that the Ikea packs one is slightly deeper. And on this, they may be this, I think it's 13 inches deep. I'm almost 100% sure. I see some of the girls who have the, the more shallow version and their shoes look like they're kind of hanging off, which I'm surprised because none of them really have like a really large foot, the ones that I've seen. This one can go up to probably a, maybe a 12 in shoe with the door. If you didn't have the door, of course you can get kind of whatever size, but you also don't want it hanging off of the actual shelf. I don't know if that makes sense. So I want to display, I wanted to display my bags in here, my shoes, um, and that's it. I may, like I said, when I swap it out, I may do some other things in here, but this was just perfect for me to add all of this stuff in this section for myself. And this is one of the first things that I purchased when I first moved was I needed my shoes to be in something. I'm the girl who loved to keep her boxes and for me, it was like, I had to get rid of them. They take up too much space, moving them from home to home, you actually end up destroying the boxes and I was just like, it's time to get rid of them, let's get something else. And this was the first thing that I purchased. Now the issue with the, <laughs> it's not an issue. Okay, they tell you you should always secure your Ikea packs to the wall. For the 22 inch deep one, I don't think you need to unless you have children it's not gonna tilt 
tilt over. It's just not going to happen. Unless, I don't even know how it would happen because it's so deep. These, on the other hand, the bottom of these and the bottom of those are made different. Those can sit flush against the wall if you take off your baseboards, which I did not, so I have like a tiny space back there. However, these have like a little slant in the back where it sits over your base. And so if it's not secured to the wall, it will fall. Okay. <laughs> so this is how I keep my stuff organized in my closet, bedroom turn closet. And I just wanted to share that with you guys that you can build something like this in any space. Trust me, you can. All of those, all of these pieces actually was in my regular walk-in closet which is narrow i just have more space in the center so and just for me to move around i have cameras in here i have this rolling rack i have like a little desk in here so it's just my room to work in so if you do have the space to do it by all means do it guys take your time the first thing i would always recommend is measure out your space to the t think about your windows do you want the lighting to come in from your windows? Um, are you gonna record in there? Think about things that you wanna hang up and display. That means how many shelves you need. Do you want the shelves with the glass on it? Do you want the regular shelves to save you some money? Do you want a pants rack? Do you want one or two pants rack? Do you want to be able to utilize every inch of your wall? meaning you want to get that corner piece if you want to bring it over or maybe just one side so those are the things that you have to think about and please use that ikea tool to kind of map it out it's actually really fun as long as you have the measurements of your room your golden girl you can just play around and see what you want to fit in where trust and believe me i'm gonna get the sunlight in here by any means necessary um so if i have to shift that down and put my I don't know something else over there but the sun i'm gonna get it here it shines in here sometimes but not like i really would like it to and i just think that is just the position of my home so that will be the end of this video showing you my ikea pack system every nook and cranny that i have which i said it's only four pieces and the other place where my shoes and bags are are the billy bookshelves if you only have space for the billy bookshelves then display your shoes, guys. Because trust me, I know the girls have a ton of shoes that they would love to display. And if you could only get the more shallow version, go for those as well. Do something that makes you feel good getting dressed. For the girls who love fashion, who love to have their own space, who just want to have a room full of the things that they absolutely love without any interruptions from any husband, any boyfriend, any kids. It's your own personal space. And if you can do something with what the, the space that you have, please do it. If you already have a small, I'm gonna call it a New York City closet, <laughs> you can still do something in there. I even thought about girls who have a regular closet kind of like changing the door and having like a glass door that will add on something it'll give it a little bit of i don't know pizzazz i may do that in this room i don't know maybe when i move but get creative make the space your own get you a really nice mirror you guys know i have two mirrors from ikea the hubbit and i don't even know the name of the other one anymore I don't even know the name of the other one. I know they went up on a price, but the Hubbit is the taller version. It's huge. It's like 77 inches high. For a girl like me who's six feet tall, it's the perfect mirror. The other mirror has more of a thicker frame. It's still very big. I think it's like a little bit over six feet tall, um, but still very nice. So mirrors are gonna open up your space. So if you don't have a ton of light in windows, definitely get you some mirrors. It will add on to the space, guys. Let's thank you guys for tuning into this video. Something very quick, showing you my actual closet. No stock photos, this is my closet. I come in here every day and work. I come in here, I get dressed, I pick out clothes, and I get motivated in this room. So as a tall girl, you guys already know the struggle is real with trying to find clothes. So for me, growing up, having a space of my own, always make getting dressed better. 
and fun. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you stayed to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my style services, Coco Styles NYC NYC. And my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC, and my style services, Coco Styles NY. And I'm on tickety tickety talk, Coco Styles NYC, until they cut it off. <laughs> Coco Styles NYC, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.